Hey y'all, I'm Erin and this is Nick with Trolling Down Main Street and we have another Disney tag. So we were tagged by Magic Rose family in the hot seat Disney tag. So we've got 10 questions and these are all pretty difficult. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Question number one, which Disney movie would you turn into a ride? Which part would it be and where and what park would it be in? Nick. Um, I would take any of the Iron Man movies, the parts where Tony Stark is in the Iron Man suit, and I would turn it into a roller coaster to go into Hollywood Studios, where it's kind of like the roller coaster they're doing in SeaWorld, where you put on a VR helmet while riding the roller coaster. And this would be a lay down roller coaster, I think like Superman at Six Flags. There's a roller coaster out there that you lay down in. And it would combine that, the VR simulator, and it would basically be like a VR roller coaster experience of flying in an Iron Man suit. Nice. So I think my answer would have to be like Pocahontas when she's doing her little river band thing. I think Splash Mountain should have been rethemed to Pocahontas with the whole just around the river bend. You know, so that's my Pocahontas needs more park. And I think it should be in Animal Kingdom. So I'd put like a splash, I mean, I know there's Cali River Rapids, but another water ride with Pocahontas where you're in a little log and you're going around. Question number two, what new theme would you turn into a resort? So my answer, there's not like a Fantasyland themed resort. Part of animation. No, that's not Fantasyland though. That's just animation. Okay. Like princesses and the carousel and all of that themed. I mean, Grand Floridian's kind of, but not really. It's a little more upscale. This needs to be more, I don't know. Just think like all the Tudor style, like the German kind of looking architecture and stuff that's in Fantasyland, like Pinocchio Village House and stuff like that. Okay. I think it needs to be themed like that. What about you? I don't know. We didn't go over this question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I forgot about that one. Hmm. What, is it? what new theme would you turn into a resort? Yeah, they're doing the Star Wars resort. Mm -hmm. So they could do an Avengers style resort for because those fans are out there just like they are with Star Wars. Um, but I guess it has to pass the this side of the Mississippi yeah, thing that, that you're talking happen. about. I don't know. I think it's like 2024. Which is coming up. So, 2024. I think. Something like that. The year of COVID-24. No. <laughs> no. Question number three. What character would you choose to spend the day with at the parks? And where would you go? What would you do? Which character? I think Donald. He's part of the Fab Five. And Donald has fun, as I've said in previous videos, messing with people. And we would probably just go around the parks and, I don't know probably just get into all sorts of nonsense which is fun for me um i think my choice would be mickey just because he's the original so it'd just be cool to like experience the parks with them question number four of all the lands which would you get rid of and why my answer is dino land because they are getting rid of Primeval World, so it's not even worth it to go there anymore. And I know a lot of people don't like Primeval World, but that's like my favorite. So, not even worth it. I do have a dinosaur that I won at one of the little carnival games though, because I'd meet my cousin when he was like 13. So, you know, there's that. But other than that, no, I'm not a huge fan of the dinosaur ride. It's just too much stimulation for me, so. I don't know. I can't think of a land that needs to be just gotten rid of, but I can think of an, think of an area of a park that just kind of needs a redo. <clears throat> and I'm talking about the part of Hollywood Studios over by Rock and Roller Coaster and Tower of Terror. Um, it looks exactly the same from when I went to Disney the first time in 2003. And I think they could add, they're, they're adding a cars thing over there. Yeah, that's already there. It's on the other side of. So I would say they need to take all of the cars land theme that's in California and bring it to Disney World 
and put it in that part of the park. And that would be really cool because I really want to go to Disneyland to see that. So Nick just did the opposite of this question and added something in the park instead of taking it away. I can't think it of works. anything that needs to be taken away. I mean, it it's, it's there for a reason. <laughs> I mean, the lands are there for a reason and they all kind of work in my opinion. I would agree with Dino Land. It, again, it doesn't need to get taken away. It just needs to... Revamped. Yeah. Put another primeval world in. That was a fun coaster. Number five. Where in the world would you build another Disney park? My answer is either Australia or New Zealand. I would say Canada, probably the east side of Canada. So that way people that are in the northeast part of US could go up there or people in Canada could go to that one without having to come into the US. Um, you know, we've got Disneyland centrally located in California on the west coast. We've got Disney World in the southeast. So there needs to be something in the northeast. So So then all you northerners wouldn't complain about our heat and humidity all the time. <laughs> or likewise, you wouldn't we have could, to deal with it. <laughs> or on the same note, we could go to the one in Canada and we wouldn't be complaining about the heat. Yeah, really. Number six, which Disney movie do you want a sequel of? I couldn't think of a movie, but I think any of the Pixar shorts, they need sequels because they're awesome. Piper needs a sequel. It's so cute. Um, my answer would be Brave, just because Merida's awesome and she deserves a sequel where she's like learning how to be queen and everything because I think that would be really comical. Um, and just I feel like she would just have a new way of being queen instead of the old way, so. Number seven. Pick one Disney character you would like to work with and why. This is one, but I said any of the Fab Five just because they're the original Disney characters and they would know everything from the beginning. And I don't know, I feel like everything stems off of the original Fab Five, so any of them. Um, my pick would be Tinkerbell probably because she's like an engineer kind of and she's a fairy and she could just like do magic and build things. Number eight, if you could be in any Disney movie, which would you be in and who would you be? We actually had this question in our Disney State of Mind tag and Nick couldn't think of an answer, so I gave him a pass. He still can't think of an answer, so he pass. still gets a pass because I'm using my same answer, which is Moana in Moana, just because I think that would be so much fun to just be out in the ocean and sailing and everything. And have water powers, as you and said. And have water powers, <laughs> which is not a Capri Sun flavor. Number nine, what castle would you like to live in? So the Shanghai castle <laughs> is the one I would like to live in. I think it's the largest one and I think it looks really cool. Um, I would like to live in Disneyland Paris castle just because it's the most whimsical and it is really pretty. And That's you good. could probably view Paris from it. I don't really know where it's located, but <laughs> it's pretty you could cool. probably view with the Eiffel Tower and stuff. Number 10. Which villain would you be related to and why? I think Scar. I mean, like, yeah, he killed Mufasa and stuff, but he's very relatable because he's just like, I live with Scar. There we go. Um, <laughs> he's just like, you know, oh, I'm surrounded by idiots and, you know, just like nobody understands him. And I don't know. I listen to his song, Be Prepared on Monday mornings when I'm driving to work and it's like my Monday morning pump up song. Fun fact. We work from home. Do you still do Well, that? okay. I used to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drive to work right now, but I used to or when I was driving to school in grad school. I would just like blast be prepared. Um, I don't know. I don't, that's a good answer. I might steal yours. I mean, we already live with like a mini scar. Yeah, so. I have that thought sometimes of when I'm dealing with people like, ugh. Surrounded by <laughs> yeah. 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 We'll go with that one. That's another one. I'm not I'm not good with a lot of the Disney movie and like relatable to all the culture. I, I'm good at the parks, but I haven't watched a ton of Disney movies. Next thing we need to do. <clears throat> oh boy. Well, we had so much fun. Thank you so much for the tag, Magic Rose Family. And we want to tag Mike and Amanda over at Hides Do Disney. So we look forward to your answers. Um, thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, 
wear your mask, wash your hands, be safe, and we will see you later. Dangerous. The danger mitts are out. <laughs>